30 you know, number one in the world. I've so, not yeah. even got FIFA points. Go on, here we go. If we're at our best, we'll win the game. Tomo wanted it, but it's cleared by Berry. So that's the fun spot, yeah. It's the fun spot. Happy, Happy birthday to Sven Dog. FIFA player. Now we find an area! All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. Big one today, league game. First versus second. We're second. We're away here at Cockfosters, who are top. Seven games played, six wins, one draw. Undefeated so far, Seb. Yeah, it's very impressive, isn't it? It's interesting at this level how you never quite know coming into a season, especially with the off-season we've had, quite what team's going to turn up. Who's going to be the ones that are at the top of the table? Hopefully, so far, we've had, we've had a good start, but Cockfosters are absolutely flying. Today, Spen, is more than just three points. You know, it's, it's a bit of an intention sign here. With two good starts, coming out here with a win would be massive. Yes, indeed. Uh, I mean, it's uh, we didn't actually play this fixture last year because it was one of the ones that was cancelled after the null and void decision. So we're looking forward to seeing what Cockfosters can do at their place. Uh, before we get into the game, let's see what's been happening before kickoff. Weekend league. Earlier, I was 98th in the world on PS4. So you're in the top 100. Right now, I'm probably like 700. <laughs> No, but, no, but you, no, you can say you were in top 100. top 100. I reckon you put it in your bio. Yeah, I've got my good friend Dory. Uh, he's a pizza coach. Um, basically, he uh, edited this for me. If you can see that. It's obviously not real, but how real does that look? Uh, you know, number one in the world. It's fake. Oh my God. It's fake. Look at that. No, it's not. It's real. But, 10 wins, 2 losses. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Tom Lee, hashtag Shory. You ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> What's the pack? It's the gold. Players premium pack that Jesse's gonna you open. I haven't so yeah, true it. it. You're like, put the vlog. Put the vlog in, yeah. yeah right, go on, I've it. not even got FIFA points. Go on, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, you got sucked in. <laughs> To be fair, that's a good sign. And then I'm getting Vardy up top in that spare spot. In from Vardy? No, just normal. Normal Vardy. Oh, well, I can't, I can't even afford him now. Because <laughs> you, you just opened a pack. What are we expecting, what are we expecting here? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I've actually packed Corona. <laughs> I've actually packed Corona. That could not be any more. Right, mate. Like, what am I seeing? I mean, it's a great card, but like, listen, I don't actually want Corona. I don't want the card Corona, and I don't want that Corona either. Yeah. Out with the old, in with the new, right? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Get old stuff off. You got that new one there? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling that one a lot better. <laughs> Last night, same was in bed by nine. Me and Gleedy were probably on to around about 3 a.m. Just smashing out Call of Duty. I reckon top three Call of Duty players at the club. Sam Raj, Gleedy, me. No. Jamie can do one. Els can do one and all. Jamie, it's Jamie. No way. What? Are you sure? No way. So what makes you say that? I just don't like it. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Bro, what's playing on the headphones right now? Five, four, three, two, one. Nothing. Nothing. Why you got him in then? Um, block everything up. Block out all the haters. If you were to play one song right now, what would it be? Oh, for God. Abracadabra, yeah? Baby. Baby by Justin Bieber. Okay, decent. Hey! <laughs> we seem to have our own hashwags start to arrive at the games. We got. Lee's misses, Albie's misses, Jesse's misses, and Newbie's misses. Something that's obviously quite interesting, last time we played Cockfosters it would have been at home last season in the season in which they got null and voided. However, we didn't play them here, so we're not too sure what they're going to be like at home. However, they are top of the league, which is obviously interesting. Uh, and we're back to playing on grass. And what's interesting about that is that we have played so many games at home, it is a joke. Stanley's behind me filming some cool little... What's that? What are you filming? Some B-roll, yeah? Okay, so he's trying to get the artistic shot. What about if I'm like this? It reminds me of the Wembley Cup photo. That when I was like this, bam, 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 drop the photo in now, Stampede. Bang! Wembley Cup photo. Decent. So that's the fun spot, yeah? This is the fun spot. Um, we've collected quite a lot. Who, who's put all that in then? Who's put the notes I'll in? I'll be honest, half of the notes are actually been me. Who, who put the not free S we're in taking, there? We're taking bank transfers now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apple Pay and that. Apple Pay and that. So I'm looking at getting a uh, card machine. But yeah, we have about £100. Where's the money going to go to? Because nowhere's open at the well, moment. So, so what we just get a creative force and go mental with it. Woo. <laughs> but probably, I'll be honest with you, it's probably going to go back to the people. Probably right. just dish it back out again. Because we ain't going anywhere anytime <laughs> soon. So. What have you got in your snack bag? Let the people know, so they can rate you out of 10. Quivers. Quivers. 
Yeah. Ross that's on sway. You say that in your poo later, that's sweet gone, dude. <laughs> what? Well, what? Oh, and, uh, what the hell? Oh, my God. What do you mean? These are no, no, the best. Yeah, Pre game, though, you're about to. Come on, man. A few days late, but it's the first game. Thought I'd better do it before the match, just in case we're yeah, yeah, <laughs> not yeah, celebrating yeah, yeah. after. Should we go and give this to Spence? Go on, let's do it. Special hashtag cake. Happy birthday to Spen Dog. FIFA player. Happy birthday to you. Nearly dropped it. Careful, yeah. Oh, no. There we go. There you go. Details. I watched these play Wednesday. They are Obviously, they're flying the top of the league. I am guessing I saw the worst version of them on Wednesday. I expect to see the best version of them today. And that's what we have to prepare for. They were a 4-3-3. Three, three. They looked to play. They looked to play the other night. So we've got to make sure our use of the ball is good. We're confident and get back to being our best. If we're at our best, we'll win the game. It's, it's, simple, it's simple as that. If we're at our best, we'll win the game. But we have to make sure it's going to be one of those. There's going to be a decent crowd in today. It's tight, enclosed. It's going to be a, it's going to feel like a proper away game where you're up against it. And we've got to be prepared for that. And we've got to be disciplined. And we've got to be organised. And we've got to make sure that we're as punchy as we can be. There's every chance they see us Monday and they'll be fancying it. Because they'll think we're not very good. So, Cockfosters, 22 goals scored, just six conceded impressive. in their it's six impressive. Uh, games. And, and we know that teams can change a little bit in the off-season, get some new players in and whatnot, but it seems like they've got a real uh, team togetherness at the moment. And they'll obviously be treating this like a big game themselves, Sam. It's not all about us trying to trying to get on top of the league. It's about them trying to stay there. Absolutely. I mean, there's one thing that we're very much used to, is almost regardless of the fixture, because of you know the amount of people that end up watching the games, most teams do raise their game against us, but no more than the people who are right on top of the table. This is going to be a big, big game. It's like almost a cup game, really, if you like, in some, in some respects. Winning is more than just the three points, I think. Yeah, let's see if we can get those three points. Let's see what team is going to try and do it for hashtag. So in goal today, we have Tim Pittman in between the sticks. In defence, Reece Stewart is back after an injury. Ryan O'Rourke and Tom Anderson at centre-back. Danny Smith at right-back. In centre mid, we have Newby. Uh, in front of him, Jesse Wallalassen and uh, Lee Hursett. In the front three, Triple H, Harry Honesty, George Smith and Albie Keith. On the bench, Simon Petty, Ross Gleed, who's got an injury himself, Joshua Sude, Sam Raj Gill, and Jamie Hersett. And we're underway here at Cock Fosters as number nine Mullings plays it back all the way to the keeper. He's got five goals in eight. But the man to watch is that player manager, number 10, Ryan Wade, who's got nine goals in 11 games, looking to hit double figures today. Is this time for Ryan O'Rourke's first goal for the club? He has had a few chances, doesn't he? Hit the crossbar, I remember, against Takeley. His first game for the club, I think that was. It's up in the air. Corner's gone beyond him. I think the keeper wanted it, but it was headed away instead by Mullings. Jesse goes Jesse back to the... Jesse this back. Jesse will have this back on the edge, I'm telling you. Hughes going to whip it in. Tomo wanted it, but it's cleared by Berry. And Ooh. it's a strike from Nubi. You don't mind it, but that one is gone. That is long gone. That is out of this uh, arena. Someone over there in the high vis is on his way already. Probably a well-rehearsed drill there for the lad. They want to think about growing those bushes a bit higher if they can. Anderson wins his header from the goal kick. Jesse does enough. To be fair, he's about matched height-wise up against uh, the skipper there. Ryan O'Raw clips it, but it comes straight to number seven, Campbell. Campbell looking for Masonia. Left footed pass into the box, but it's Tom Anderson to get there first. Straight back at him, though. Inviting a bit of attack coming on here. Bit of pressure here. Now look at this run from Ryan Wade. I thought he ran from an offside position there. Right. Tim's done well to hold that. Did Got down nicely there, watch the bounce. Right back stayed up here. Not in any rush to retreat. And the left back's up as well. He's going to look to whip one in here. Keep his ball, keep his ball. Oh, no. Goes right oh, across his goal. Oh, oh, Tim. No. Tim's made a huge mistake here. Hopefully we can with clear it. it. You bit of break now, Spain could turn the uh, turn it into something going oh. for us. Go on, Harry Honesty's got a bit of room here. Goes the first challenge. Ooh. Oh, it's good defending once again from Haig, though, up against Harry Honesty. And then again from the I actually thought that was okay. I thought that was pretty good from the right back. I think he got his whole foot on top of the ball, Spain. Yeah. Obviously, Jesse went flying, but I thought that was. Unless I missed something, Jesse seems quite angered by it. Ref had a better view than me, but I thought it was all right. Let off for Mr. Pittman there. Just for some reason, there was an opportunity where he could have got the ball, but then he just went on for it a little bit too long, like a bit of a Jack Russell. The moment had gone, just let it go. 
You let Reese deal with he it. He had Reese there to do it. He did, yeah. We haven't got many other options, mate. Unless he's no, no, for sure. Maybe he can put, can't, yeah. Number three's been all over the place, making runs everywhere. Free kick from Thompson. It's got a good one. Pittman. Oh, he's been slammed there. He's been slammed. He did well. He came and got two gloves on it and he's been taken out. You know, I'm often one who's very, very critical of how much protection goalkeepers get as I look over at Jacko and see his reaction to that comment. Got nothing so far. No bite. But for there, I think Tim probably deserved the free kick there. Taking it quick. Lee Hurset, what are you thinking about? Back post. Ryan O'Rourke wins his head up again, failing to find the target. And that is the break. And it's nil-nil. Not a lot between the two teams, to be honest. No real vintage football on display. We'll see what Devs has to say. Boring. That's what it is. It's boring. It's boring to watch because we're making bad decision after bad decision in and out of possession. We've had two efforts that have caused more damage to the trees than their goal. And they've had chances from our cock-ups, right? Which is worrying. Because it just tells me our heads are not, our heads are not right. They're not in it. We just, we need more. We've got to be better. It feels flat. It feels flat stood here. It's almost like it's, people just want to be here and get out and go home. If that's the case, get three points to go home with. I know it's a difficult surface. I know you've almost got to have that extra step to, to be sure of it. But let's be a little bit braver. Let's be a bit braver and try and win the game, boys, eh? These are not a top four side. I'm telling you now. So all that at first three seconds is absolute nonsense because we're, what, not even 10 games into the season. And this will be a missed opportunity if we don't step up. Come on. And round away for the second half. George Smith sends it back to Jesse Wallalassen. Passes it over to Reese Hewitt. No changes for hashtag. But hopefully a change in performance. How he honestly looks like he has switched flanks with Albert Keith now. Hewitt. Look at the smudger. Great yeah, hold up play. Back a little bit. Looking for Albie Keith. Albie finds an area. Yes! <laughs> that is vintage Albie Keith in a tight area step. He found the space. He did, but also it's vintage George Smith to hold the ball up really well and wait for the run and just slot it in very nicely. And on a pitch like this, to keep your composure and allow yourself the chance to put it in the back of the net as Albie's done. I'm very pleased for him, Spen. He works very hard. Doesn't always get the plaudits. One nil tags. He's come... Just after you mentioned that they swap flanks, of course, and now he finds himself on his favoured left foot and does just what we want him to. It's almost like Devs knows what he's doing. <laughs> it's much louder out there, Spen, now. The boys have really been lifted by that goal. Tempo's been lifted. You said earlier that both sides looking to play free kicks quicker. I think both looking to come out and play at a faster tempo in the second half, and we've got the goal out of it. Luckily, it was to us. Jesse and Thompson, another battle in the middle there. Two smallest players on the pitch, but not lacking in heart and effort. Keeper once again gets it back. How's your kick, Robinson? He goes short to Crover. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. mistake. <laughs> Composure. It, it's worth Gin. a go. Oh, oh, it's worth a go. It's definitely worth a go there. Fair play to Albie. I a thought he got a good strike on it. No, I know. It's really he good. He needed a bit him. more dink on it, didn't it? Right. Lee Hurst. Hashtag looking like they're getting going now. Not the best touch in the box. Jesse Wallasson in your box is not what you want to see if you're a man in red and white right now. Newbie. Nice little reverse pass to Lee Hersey. He's got time to spray one, doesn't it? Love that. Oh, it's a little that bit of a daisy cutting. It was, wasn't it? Reese Stewart. Yeah, that. Yeah. This is good, isn't it? They're at sixes and sevens, mate. Brilliant start to the second half, Mashtag United. Let's get another goal, though. Let's yeah, make yeah, it count. Can we, can we? Bit of handbags between Ross, um, Tomo and the number five. Well, Alassan. Oh, it's got enough on it. Harry Honesty taking a touch in the box. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You do not save those. I said in his last goal, the way he struck the football was reminiscent of the goal he got to win us the league title against Hackney Wick. That was just like it. Harry Honesty is well and truly back amongst the goals and he's absolutely delighted with it. You take a touch in the box there. Who's you're expecting someone. You expect, uh, there was a joke in the WhatsApp group about how we obviously we've got to be oh, socially yeah. distanced for our celebrations. So you just wave instead. And that's what that was. Um, the, you take a touch in the box there, you expect to get someone coming after you in a big challenge or something. He found the time and the space to hit it, and my God, did he hit it. We're blessed at the moment with the plethora of attacking options out wide. You know, Sude and Toby, were, as well. they were probably, probably our two of our better players in the first month of the season. And now we've got Albion Harry coming in and scoring his options. And we could go for a third here. Oh. Jesse Wallace and just getting uh, the ball nicked from him. 
I think he got it stuck under his feet there. It was so close to being cleaned through. Cock Fosters now. If they can get a quick reply, it'll put them right back in the mix. And they're looking for Mullins in behind, who hits his shot. Well Brilliant blocked Tomo. there by Tomo. They're still coming here. Masonia's oh. touch is heavy on the left. That's actually Madu, sorry, getting forward from uh, left back. This is Masonia now. He's going to look to keep it in up against Albie Keith. Hashtag still got to do the defensive part of their jobs. Cock Fosters are a wounded animal right now. And wounded animals can be very dangerous. Madu. Albie Keith's very tired, I think. Don't blame him. He's run an awful long way today. He's Beatty on the ball. All left foot. Puts it through to Mullings. What Tomo a Anderson. challenge. Unbelievable. Still going, though. Fantastic. He's even a corner. Okay, but still, Tom Anderson looks like he might have taken a bit of that himself, but he's a warrior of a man. He's putting a warrior-like performance so far today. He's been everywhere. But both centre-backs have been classed, but yeah, yeah Tomo's really edged it. Jesse. Good, Jesse. I mean, it's just what you want to see, Spen, isn't it? When you get the quality to get the goals, then the boys keep putting the work rate in to keep them at bay. You, you love to see it. Got to finish this job. Got to see it through. Ryan O'Raw, beaten by Clark, who looked to be a bundle of energy here. Find Mullins here. Hits his shot. That's, that's, that's not too hard. You've got to ask yourself, Spen, why Clark hasn't started this game. I mean, he's the sort of player that causes problems. Wade, obviously, is banged goals in. He's not clearly a very good player, but it just wasn't his game today, really, was it? The way in which the game's unfolded. Free kick for Cockfosters, though. Next few minutes really important as Pittman drops it here. And that is not a moment that is going to cover him with glory. Hashtag are oh, convinced it was a foul on Tim, but they're not going to get it. And now there's a bit of a kerfuffle happening in the net. Tim's not pleased at all. I mean, from what I could see, I don't know. It's hard to tell. You never know, right? But it's a disappointing moment. It's exactly what we didn't need at this point of the game. We need to keep solid. Don't give any reason for Cockfosters to get up and excited. And now they very much will be. This is going to be a tense finish to the game. We've got to work. Hashtag react! React! Those two substitutes that have come on now have got to make this their game and make sure they don't get associated with a collapse. Sude, yeah. Gil, what you got? Throw in Smudger. Good take. Can you go back to the thrower. Here comes Reece Hewitt now. Finds Newby. Newby just sending it back in towards Jesse. Lovely. It's a good ball, that. Jesse lays it back. Smudger! Oh, once again, they get a play on the line. That's two shots in short succession blocked. What a first touch from Jesse Wallalassen. And the awareness as well to know where George was. That was really, really good there. And George, I think, has hit a good shot on it. Well blocked. You've got to say, well blocked. Yeah, no, they're putting the bodies on the line now. We just need this goal, I think, to finish this off. Fantastic. Oh, we'll have that. We'll have that. Newbie's what seen a ball it. that is, by the way. Sprayed it. Asude, punish them now. Come on, Josh. Oh, we've kind of fallen down on it. We've given a really good shout on that. The refs having absolutely none of it. I think it's probably, by in all fairness, about the right decision, Spin. This is it. This is literally the dying embers now. We need to stay secure, boys. Come on. No, there's Newby. nothing. You can't give that one. And not the other one, ref. You can't give one and not the other. It's exactly the same foul. And they're just going to do the same thing again here, aren't they? This is where the goal came from. They're going to just put it in towards Tim in an area of uncertainty. LP can't watch, neither can I. We need a moment of magic. If, it, if it's on target, Tim, we need oh, you. We need these three in the wall to be strong here. that net. Be strong, boys. But he had it covered. Tim had that covered all day. Ball's gone. We're out of balls. Uh, ref? Oh, I thought he was blowing the whistle. No. It's not over, though. It's not over. Yes! yes! Come on! There's the final whistle. We'll take the win. Hard fought match. Wasn't our best performance, but some really nice moments in the second half, Seb. Really nice moments. It's a shame the way we conceded that goal for them. Uh, tough game out there, Spen, but that's what you've got to do sometimes. You're going to have a chance to win any sort of league. You've got to win ugly sometimes. And that's pretty much what we did today. A couple of games in a row, I'd probably say. Maybe a little bit better today than we were on Monday night. Seb, who's your man of the match? There's a few out there, Spen. It will probably, for me, be on the defensive side of it, although we did make some good goals. Chris Newby, that was brilliant today. But for me, it's going to be Tomo Anderson for yep. me. I think he was brilliant, absolutely everywhere. Put his head and his body where it needed to be, even if it was going to hurt him in the process. He'll be bruised in the morning, but he'll have a nice man of the match to celebrate. Lovely stuff. Big win. Cock Foster's first defeat of the season. And hashtag go top of the league. Well done. The difference in a second half, 
and it come from I spoke to just before you kicked off and there were a few of them said it's just about that going and putting them under pressure and making them make a mistake the difference in our approach just being on the front foot allowed us to create and very different goals but two brilliant goals they banked in first half and kind of said break us down and we just kind of sat in front of them and, and, and were too passive but because we went and pressed and put them under pressure it give us it give us opportunity and we took it because it it, it was a it's a difficult game well done that's that's a good three points rest up normal routine some of us monday well done brilliant ando you want about 40 headers today mate how are you feeling yeah tired but it's good we've got three points i'm right that's what's the main thing so getting three points and talk to me like what was it like playing the game it looked like a tough battle first half was they had a lot of the ball but second half we pressed them and once we pressed them we got most of the ball so second half is much better you're looking a bit dizzy mate you sure you're right yeah. it's got one in the eye i don't know if it's geezer's hill or i don't know Yes, a bit sore now. And yes, guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. What a game! Oh my God, Harry, honestly, absolutely lengthy. it. Albie obviously came in with a goal as well. But because they were top of the league and we beat them, there's been a few changes to the league table. And this is how it is. Yes, as you can see, Hashtag United are sitting in first place. You love to see it. Get in. Okay, the next game you can find all the information for over on the Hashtag United Twitter. Make sure you're following. Keep updated. And also, make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell and do all that good stuff. Don't get that a second.